Breck and Coy here from Belle and the Bulldogs. Now, Halloween is right around the corner, and everyone knows you can't have tricks without treats. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, we're gonna show you how to make some monster marshmallows. First up, Frankenmellows. Oh, I'm Frankenstein. You'll need large marshmallows, a bowl of water, green food coloring, ultra thin pretzel sticks, and black icing. The thinner the tube, the better. Step one. Add a few drops of green food coloring to the bowl of water. Mix it up until it's a ghoulish shade of green. Oh, Looks very ghoulish yeah, to me. Yeah, I would say so. Okay, step two, dip your marshmallows in the green water until it's totally gone green. Step three, lightly dab them with a the paper towel and let them dry completely. Step four, use the black icing to draw Frankenstein's face and add a little hair, mouth. Hmm, looking cute. Yeah, nice. Step five, break a pretzel stick in half and stick one piece in each side of Frankenstein's head. I, I mean, the marshmallow. Nice! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Sorry, got a little carried away. Next up, Jack-O-Mellows. You'll need large marshmallows, a bowl of water, orange food coloring, black icing, and thin pretzel sticks. These little guys are super simple, but scarily delicious. That's right. Step one, add orange food coloring to your water and mix. Step two, submerge your marshmallows until they're bright orange. Step three, dab them and let them dry. Okie dokie, step four, use the black icing to carve your marshmallow into the perfect jack-o'-lantern face. Cute, scary, whatever you're feeling. Look at that. Okay, step five, break off a piece of pretzel and stick it in the top for a stem. Long stem. Did you make fun of my stem? That's a long stem, dude. So what? Looks like a plunger. <laughs> it does. Okay, fine. Yes. Okay, okay, we're gonna start over. I'll give you a shorter stem. Thank you. Fine. Fine. Okay, this is much better. Is that better? Yes. Now that is a jack-o'-lantern. Adorable and delicious. Okay, now for the marsh spider. <laughs> You'll need large marshmallows, dipping chocolate, black sprinkles, a wax paper lined tray, toothpicks, thin black licorice string, and red and black icing. Step one, get your parents' help and melt a bowl of chocolate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> step two, dip a marshmallow into the melted chocolate. And now, step three, dip the marshmallow in a bowl of sprinkles to give it that hairy tarantula look. Nice, can I eat it now? No. Okay. <laughs> Step four, place your marshmallows on a tray with wax paper and put them in the fridge to dry. Step five, use a toothpick to make four holes on each side of your marshmallow. Okay, now, step six, cut four pieces of licorice, dip the ends in chocolate and stick them in the holes, voila. Step seven, finish your spider by adding two eyes with red icing. Ooh, it now looks wow. evil. Okay, this guy is seriously giving me the creeps. You can serve your monster mellows on sticks like pops, use them as cupcake toppers, or just eat them plain. All right, sorry buddy, your time has come. Oh my. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, this is delicious. <laughs> wow, can I take these home? Yeah, I'm gonna take these home. He's taking them home. Happy Halloween guys, see ya.